all right everyone good morning my name is akere lee ulua shogo i'm your microsoft excel trainer this morning we are going to be looking at how to reconcile data in excel how to reconcile data in excel if you look at this data i have a list of my customers and the date of transaction and this is the amount received from the transaction the invoice amount and also the payment amount so i want to reconcile and determine which customer is owing us and how much are they owing us and which of the customers have paid what they are owing us there are several ways that you can do this in excel you can use some if functions to reconcile data which i've explained in my previous videos you can also use subtotal I have explained that one in my also also in my previous video but we want to learn how to use pivot table to reconcile data in excel so let me convert the data into a table before i use pivot table so i'll click anywhere within my data so i'll go to my insert under insert i'll click on tables so i'm going to convert the data to the ordinary table you say where is the data for your table i've taken the whole range and i'll think my table has an header because i have colon title so i'll click on so i've converted the range to a table so from there i'll click anywhere within my table go to insert and i pick i can use recommended pivot table or ordinary pivot table so let me go to the pivot table so this is what exa is recommended for me so i'll click on okay so you can see i have pivot table looking at the pivot table now i can see that company a is still holding us 977 why company b is owing us 719 era 38 cobo company d is not owing us so we also have company t owing us 665 naira 56 cobo so i know which of the company is owing us if i want to get more report about the company here so you double click on the value to get sub report so you can see the information of company here because i double click on it to get sub report so you can see amount invoice payments you can see invoice payment you can also see the payment amount so at the end of the day i at the end of the day i have to arrive how much the company is owing us so if we go back to our report report worksheet so you can see we know how much each company is owing us and we also need the company that is not in us so once your sum is equal to zero that means invoice payment is equal to the payment amount that's how to use pivot table to reconcile data in excel thank you for watching my videos my name is akere lee Oluwa shogo